I'm just using copy paper here. So you don't have to use anything fancy, but if you have your sketchbooks, this is a great way to get some practice in on there. Um, and please remember guys that I don't want this to be perfect. It's really just to get you guys practicing, looking at the body, getting used to drawing a shape. Um, this is gonna be really important when we need to start making real bodies um, communicate the, the costume designs that we want. And, and right now I'm kind of next to the paper. So you're sort of seeing that um, I'm about, I'm about the same size as the length of this paper, right? So having them right next to each other is another thing that helps. And again, I'm not looking at any of the detail yet. We'll get into detail later. Um, what I wanna do first is kind of mark, you know, where my neckline is uh, and where I'm headed. So my plumb line is right about there, okay? So I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully now you guys can kind of see um, that my people are roughly about the same length. You know, we're ending at the same point is where her lowest foot should be. Um, it looks like I'm a little bit taller than her. So maybe we lower that head down so they're at the same space. And then we mark this as the new, as the new foot. Okay, so that's my new plumb line. Um, again, I'm going into just drawing out her neck um, rather than trying to draw the actual shape, I'm gonna just create um, parts of her body. So I'm breaking up her body into, let's break it up into the top half here. Okay. Sorry with the color, it's not as visible, um, but that's the top half. So again, I'm doing that. Then it looks like she's got sort of her midriff level, which, which is a little bit more of a rectangle here. And then we widen out into her hips. Uh, and again, because we have clothes on her, we're guessing a little bit where her actual leg is, but typically the leg kind of curves here and comes out of, um, out of the socket. So again, that underwear line helps us from kind of guess where that actual foot is. And then same thing with the other leg. I'm guessing a little bit, but it's kind of coming out of here. So where we're actually creating some of the shape is gonna be um, mirrored in our sketch, right? So again, looking at that underwear line, and it looks like uh, my girl is coming out a little bit curvier than her, but generally the pr the proportions of where everything else is staying the same. And again, I'm I'm creating a lot of these shapes um, as opposed to drawing a full body fleshed. Don't try to just draw it with one line. You um, you're kind of breaking up the body into parts. Her arm is kind of foreshortened, and then we're creating an elbow here. Looks like her knee is kind of in the middle of the of the leg. So this is gonna be her first leg. And her second leg. And it looks like her boot starts right about here. Again, not trying to draw the boot, we're just drawing shapes right now. So I'm kind of guessing where her foot is because again, this is a foreshortened perspective. So when we draw the ball of the foot in the back of the heel, we know that the foot actually extends in front of that. So her foot actually comes out in front, right? And I'm a little bit below the actual line, but it looks like we're ending at about the same place here. Um, now for the foot that's in the back, because it's behind, the way that our mind works and the way that our eyes work is that it forces perspective. So actually, rather than having the knees line up directly across each other, we're actually at an angle, okay? Um, so those are things that are really good to pay attention to, just remembering that you know now the knee is actually a little lower when it's behind, um, when it's 
further towards us, the knee actually will pop out and it will go up. It will kind of sit up here. Creating our legs to attach to the knee. And then this one, it's foreshortening that leg. And we're putting the, the ankle is kind of about here, right? We're guessing a little bit with this boot because it's got so many wrinkles. The foot is actually leaning off to the side because she's probably leaning over to one toe. So it looks like this is actually overlapping a little bit more. Um, and you, get, you guys can see, like obviously here I'm very sketchy because I'm also correcting as I go. So like rather than looking at this line, I've now moved over. And you're drawing that other foot behind. Now it's gonna look a little weird because right now we just have shapes. Um, let's go ahead and finish her arms before I move on to our next task. And it looks like her arm is uh, kind of just indicated there and notice how I didn't even fully draw an actual arm just the indication of the thumb and kind of um, the shape of the hand helps me enough to get my body there then on the other side you're looking at the shape and then kind of drawing in your elbow and she's kind of got the arm extended out a little bit drawing the the thumb here and then kind of indicating the arm. You know, I don't have to draw the actual, the full hand here. Um, obviously, if you wanna work on hands, that's the best place to start because those are definitely the hardest. Um, but typically I find that if I can at least give indication of a few fingers, that's enough to get me where I need to get. The focus of these is gonna be eventually the costumes, not as much how well you draw the body, but it certainly helps to have a at least proportional body underneath of that costume so that you can really be talking about the costume and the director isn't distracted. Paying close attention to where my proportions are, really trying to match this up as close as possible. Um, the nice thing with this is that you don't need something to trace through like we did with the last assignment. You're really just kind of paying attention and observing and trying to almost copy what you're seeing on the actual body. I'm not looking at any clothes here, so I'm not drawing any of these um, these garments on here yet. Um, I want you guys to really focus on the body proportions first, and then we can move on to adding clothes on after that. All right, thanks guys.